You see the chocolate here is very hard, very solid. It contains a lot of fat. All those molecules of fat are in fact inside each other forming a chain. So if you crack the chocolate, you're going to hear a nice crunchy noise. When we put chocolate in the mold, if the molecule of fat are all together, the chocolate doesn't retract from the mold, doesn't come out, just stick to the mold. So it's very important that we temper the chocolate. We melt the chocolate all the way to 90, 90, 95 degrees. One of the way will be to put chocolate in small pieces in a microwave. Zap it for 20 seconds, mix it, and 10 seconds at a time because chocolate burns very fast. Then we shave a chocolate block or a chocolate tablet. We keep cutting it in small pieces, as small as possible. Be careful with your finger when you do that. So you see, I want something very small. Then I take that chocolate and I put it over melted chocolates. So that's called seeding. Don't make a mistake between seeding and seizing the chocolate. If you put a little bit of water, alcohol, food color, or flavoring in the chocolate, the chocolate will seize, will come thicker. And when the chocolate comes thicker, you can do nothing with that, um, except perhaps make a hot chocolate. So all those things have to stay away from the chocolate. When we melt the chocolate, those molecular fat break down. But by putting those little pieces in here and mixing in with the blender, those little pieces are going to seed and reorganize all those molecules of fat. So that's going to lower the temperature of the chocolate. The chocolate should be around 88. So I'm going to show you how to warm it up. Heat gun or a hair dryer. The heat gun heats gently. If you put it on a double boiler, the whole bowl is going to get hot and sometimes you're going to detemper the chocolate. So heat gun is perhaps a better tool for that. So I'm going to mix it a little bit more with my immersion blender and our chocolate is going to be tempered. So it is a painful process to melt, seed, cut, look at temperature, mixing, reheating. If the chocolate is not well prepped, nothing going to come off the mold. So it's important to go through that. So you see now everything is very smooth, everything is melted, and it's exactly 88 degrees Fahrenheit. So the chocolate is ready to be molded. When you buy chocolates and don't have a big appetite and don't eat everything the first day, you have to store it. So usually the best way to store chocolates is to leave the chocolate into its wrapper and put it in a room that's pretty cold. If you have a wine cellar, this is the best place to put chocolates. And if you get stuck in your wine cellar, what a great place, you have wine, you have chocolates, you know, let the party start. If you don't have a cool place, put my chocolate into a zip block bag and put it on the bottom of the fridge. When I'm ready to eat my chocolates, I will not take it out the zip block bag. Moisture will come, stay on top of the plastic. When the chocolate is at temperature, open the bag, no moisture go in it. If moisture come on top of that, what's going to happen is that moisture is going to melt the little sugar that we have on top of the chocolate. And that sugar is going to form a white film. We call that a sugar blooming. Now, if the chocolate melts a little bit, we're going to lose temper. That's a fat blooming. Blooming doesn't mean that the chocolate is no good anymore. Blooming means that it doesn't look that good, but you still can eat it. Believe me, it's still good. Thank you.